Namaste here Sri Lanka. Today Pulse is glad to be a part of a momentous occasion, an incredible leap forward in Sri Lankan education. Today we are at the Ladies College where the Old Girls Association is launching their very first set of interactive whiteboards, also known as smart classrooms. There is very exciting news here today, so stay tuned as we talk to a few people and learn more on this. My name is Ansha and you are with Pulse. Firstly, congratulations on such an amazing initiative of bringing one of the first schools to bring this down to Sri Lanka. But tell me what we're doing here today. What are we launching? I'm, I'm proud to announce that the Ladies College Old Girls Association has been able to provide Ladies College with a 65-inch smart interactive display with touch capability up to 10 fingers or stylus with digital screen, uninterrupted power supply and speakers in each and every classroom. We were but the greatness of this whole thing was that we were able to provide for the entire school. Tell me when you saw the first need that you wanted to bring these uh, interactive whiteboards down to Sri Lanka? Well, at the very beginning, when I went and spoke to our principal, Mrs. Isha Speldavin, what she really wanted was a computer, a screen and a, digi and a projector. Then when we got our old girls involved, it was their idea that we should come back with this interactive smart classroom boards. That's how we started on it. And then we looked into the whole thing and it was EVIS that we were able to match the price and they were the best because I think even government schools are being done by EVIS. What do you feel like being the first uh, school to bring this down to Sri Lanka? That's such a milestone for education. What does that feel like? In one word, I can tell you I'm ecstatic that this is something which I think it was a dream for our principal, a dream, which, a dream which I never expected that we could do and achieve so that we could get for our whole class, uh, all our classrooms in school. Right now we are here with two very important women here at Ladies College, the Principal Mrs. Isha, Spel Isha Spelderwin and uh, the Vice Principal Mrs. Deepika Dasanayaka. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Good, very excited mm -hmm. and looking forward to this new device <laughs> to be introduced in our classes. And how are you ma'am? A momentous milestone and absolutely excited about it. Definitely. Tell me when the first instant was when you realized that you want this in your school and when it was that you want to take such a great step forward in education. Yes, at Ladies College we have children of all walks of life plus we have children with different abilities. So I wanted, actually my focus is on every child in this school and I want to give each and every one of my girls the best that we can possibly give so that her learning experience is enriched and at ladies college it's not just academic achievement we look to we look to the whole child so we have kinesthetic learners we have auditory learners we have i mean children with different skills and abilities so we have to draw out those children as well so if we have a tool or mechanism that can aid us in that process and draw out the child who's maybe a little bit uh, quiet or who's a bit withdrawn, I believe even that child needs to be given a chance. So this would certainly um, be a wonderful tool in that endeavor. Definitely. And how does Ladies College feel taking that first step forward? In It's such a momentous occasion for education in Sri Lanka. How does Ladies College feel being the first people to bring this to the country? Yes, we have to be first thankful to God that he has given us this wonderful opportunity. And we always go forward with humility. 
right? It's wonderful to have this and I'm truly appreciative of all the help we've got from so many people. It's not just all girls, even people who are not connected to the school who are very interested in this project. And I think that's wonderful that they have come as a community together. And let's see what the future holds. <laughs> Definitely. And what do you have to say to the OGA especially? Uh, well, they've been the backbone for, of this project for us and their support and uh, vision in supporting Mrs. Feldevin and the school has been unbelievable. And as a teacher, I mean, this is a virtual world and we have virtual learners. So as much as it's exciting, as Mrs. Feldevin said, it's uh, humbling uh, and uh, we have a great task ahead. So looking forward to it, working with the kids and uh, just learning with them uh, because I think they are much more tech savvy sometimes than us. Right now we're with Mr. Nirmal, Nirmal Piris, the COO of EWIS, who is here to join hands with Ladies College and bring to us this amazing technology here today. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice to be here. Uh, so, just to talk a little bit about uh, the interactive whiteboard or what we call the smart board. It, it is a blend of a computer, a TV and a touch screen. So, uh, the key thing being that at least 10 children can be able to interact with the board as the teacher teaches. That's a brief summary of what the board is. It sounds amazing. What, why is it needed in Sri Lanka to further education? Well, when you take education and transformation of education using technology, it is a building block that will enable teachers to blend in technology to enhance learning. What do we mean by enhancing learning is there are some uh, concepts that typically could be better put across uh, by displaying it digitally rather than the typical way of drawing it on the board. So this technology enables you to do that and also you can fix a host of little little gadgetmatics like a microscope uh, or a telescope or anything into the uh, device to show the entire class what you can see. It sounds amazing. So tell me a little brief about what this smart board does, what kind of things can uh, a teacher use it to teach her students? Well, uh, it depends on the age, but uh, if you take a middle school student, a teacher can take something uh, something complex for a little mind. For example, you're talking about this, uh, a circle and if you're looking at a diameter of the circle, uh, if you're going to teach pi r squared, this can be graphically shown to the student, which will enable the student to be able to visualize what is being taught. Amazing, Mr. Pierce. Tell me how you feel about joining hands with Ladies College to bring this to Sri Lanka for the very first time. So, uh, it's a great opportunity for everybody because this is the first school that has actually gone ahead and implemented it in every classroom. So, that's, that's a bold step because most schools are looking at implementing it in small test environments, one class or two classes or in a lab. So it's been, a, uh, it's been an experience and I think uh, the management needs to be congratulated for the bold step they've taken and uh, I think uh, we're going to see some good results from it. Incredible, you looked amazing today. I wish you all the very best with this for the future. Thank you, thank you, all the best.